What's up YouTube, GroundPoundersInc.com As you can see we got two Group 31 batteries here Just got done charging them up They've been sitting for about 30 minutes to an hour Pretty much resting voltage at 12.78, 12.79 um, Of course we charged them up Along with the front battery However what's happening here is uh, This alternator up front Is putting out like 17 to 25 amps at idle and uh, it's externally regulated and anyways needless to say when he gets on it the most the alternator will do it's supposed to be a 250 amp alternator the most it will do at full tilt when he gets on it is approximately 150 to 185 90 amps period tops and it'll drop straight off from that point and the voltage will drop from 14.8 14.6 to 8 yeah. 14.6 to 14 8 all the way down to low 12s into the 11s in a matter of a minute and uh anyway he's contacted the owner of the company several times about this trying to get it fixed and however you know real life bench test compared to what's on the bench is uh two different stories but uh as you can see he's got a shit ton of grounds shit ton of hots coming back going to the amplifiers um also let's take a little walk up here As you can see, here's the alternator that, uh, that's in question. Um, this alternator has no belt slip. There's no belt dust there. The alternator's not even hot. Uh, it's been sitting here for a while we were charging batteries. As you can see, it's resting voltage up front. On this voltmeter, which is like 30 years old, it's showing 12.8, 12.81. Uh, we're going we're gonna to do a clamp test on this alternator and put it under load. And see what we could get out of it uh give me just a minute here as you can see there's two hot wires coming off of this and i may have to see if i can get it around both of them all right we are around both and i'm gonna have to uh tilt the camera sideways for you to be able to see this but as you can see we're sitting at dc 400 amps on the volt meter or on the clamp meter and if you'll go ahead and start this thing up, we're going to show what it's, what it's doing at idle, huh? Oh yeah, and his, he's having starter problems, so it may take him a minute to get started up. system on here and play it as you can see though back here in the back you want to follow those seats down back here in the back he has a uh, two planet audio bb 2400.1s strapped to two ohm and uh needless to say we all know these things do about 2200 to 2300 watts rms and it's so approximately about 400 amps of current draw if there's any question on that being uh being done we gotta we gotta move everything back here give us just a minute go ahead and disconnect this as you can see voltage is now sitting at 14.87 back here at the batteries now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna leave this plugged up and we're gonna convert that up there to the back seat you can pull that out if you want uh, so this voltage can be showed up here up front. You can see he's at 14.8 right now. Tell him to rev him. No, don't rev. Okay. Uh, don't okay. rev it all the first time. 
Uh, just go ahead and give us a little bit of juice and let's see what's going on here. Okay, as you can see, I dropped all the way to 12.5 real fast with the batteries fully charged. Look at this. And Watch this one. It's up different. front, up here with the stinger boat meter. That's hooked to the amplifiers. With that being said, with boat is dropping that bad, we know the amplifiers are feeding the subs dirty power at that rate. Um, so, anyways, what we're going to do now is we're going to close this back hatch. We're going to go up front. Let me take this boat meter. We're going to go up front. And uh, as you can see, right now he's charging at 20, 30 amps. Uh, the voltage is holding good, as you can see on this meter right here. All right, so. He's revving the, what are you revving to? He's revving the 2K. As you can tell, the voltage, uh, the actual amperage coming out of the alternator, the most I've seen out of it at any point in time was 202 at full tilt. But uh, anyway, this is a little sums up video. We're gonna switch some things around and try it differently. I'll hit you back. All right, YouTube, we're back again. Uh, voltage regulator here, as you can see up properly grounded several times relays right there and the FLD going to the alternator is right here that big ass orange wire you see that's the FLD wire going to the alternator as you can see it goes over through there in the wire loom uh, Here's a relay. Relay's grounded with four gauge cable. Hmm. Anyway, the uh, I'm gonna get him to get in the van in, in the Jeep one more time, and we're gonna show clamp tests along with voltage tests up front. Red. Yeah, rev, rev to 2K. give it a second and let it build voltage back up and uh, we're gonna go at it don't even rev this time uh, don't don't even rev this time just uh, give me some juice without revving you, you do about 15 20 seconds that's good enough Out. 
So, here's the scenario. This alternator, right here, with no belt clip, obviously at idle. Well, it's putting out, showing 15 volts at the front battery. It's showing 14, 8, 14, 9 at the rear battery with, with resistance. Um, here's, here's a scenario though. Even in non-revving, the most it put out, as you've seen, was a slightly, like 60, 70 amps, if that. I didn't catch the highest number. Uh, the voltage up here dropped down to 12.9. Even when he revved, it, it, was, it was keeping it at 15 volts, but the amp only put out 20. The alternator only put out 202, period, tops. Uh, or the alternator. Uh, the amplifiers are dropping to 11.9 volts. This just seems to be an ongoing problem with this alternator, and it keeps getting shipped back, keeps getting shipped back, and keeps getting shipped back and not fixed. Um, it's one of those things where, oh, uh, I get it, I put it on a bench test, it's doing 200 amps at 1200 RPM. Well, that's all we were able to achieve out of it at 2,000 RPM. So, it was rated 250, give or take 220 to 230 hot. Uh, it's not even doing that. It's damn sure not doing rated power at idle. As you can see, rated power was supposed to be 110 amps and even 170, 170 at idle. Uh, well, he said he has the email to prove it, but uh, 170 at idle, and it wasn't getting anywhere near even. 100 at all nowhere near close to it at idle under load so this seems to be an ongoing problem as you can see we're sitting here there's no belt dust on this alternator as you can see there's no slipping but uh it seems to be an ongoing problem that isn't getting fixed and all because logan here is upset and whatnot and keeps uh you know posting shit on facebook or posting shit on forums or whatnot hell i'd be upset too after two times i sent it back and it still is a fix so you know and it's the whole excuse for it not getting any fixes oh because it's bashing but you know what in the real world in the real world i was about to eat a recon for somebody that was bashing you know and that's just how business works uh you take care of them regardless i mean you ever heard the theory with customers right uh as far as this goes i'm sitting done with this uh, I'm glad I'm not selling it anymore so I don't have to deal with the cause of the complaints that uh, came in before with uh, people having problems with their alternator saying they're not doing rated power, their voltage is still dropping, so forth so on. I just told them to contact the owner. Uh, but I'm glad I don't sell it anymore. Take, take by any means, this is not a bashing video. This is basically a review video to post up this is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And after two or three times, it still is a fix. So, with that being said, I don't I don't know what else to say, and I'll go off the deep end and leave it from there. But uh, YouTube, GroundPoundersInc.com, peace out.